No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com/360. And My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over five hundred thousand dollars worth of prizes. Okay, we're still with Adam, and we're checking out the Track Tenna. This is the DJI Track Tenna for applications where you need to be able to get up to 10 kilometers of coverage and assuming you're operating within all local regulations regarding line of sight sure. and the like. Uh, but if you're shooting a movie out in the desert and you want to be able to be sure that you're getting a good signal and good feedback from your drone up in the air, the DJI Track 10 is designed to enhance that kind of uh, communication. So from up to 10 kilometers away, in here is an, a, an antenna system that is optimized so it is always in contact with the drone. It has a GPS system so it knows where it is in relation to the drone and it has a uh, two axis stabilized gimbal inside here so it's making that connection. Even if you mount this on a moving vehicle, it's always going to know where the drone is and maximize the connection. If you are within two kilometers of the drone, you're going to be getting up to 10 megabytes a second of signal connectivity. So you can get really rich data feeds back. It's great for live streaming opportunities, great for all sorts of business opportunities too, outside of just film and TV making. All right, now we're talking about the uh, joystick unit that's been used with the Inspire drones and, and others, but is now uh, compatible with the Ronin too? So this is, uh, it's not for the Ronin. This, oh, this, I'm sorry. This, this, this is our new Sendence controller. It is compatible with the Matrice 200 okay. and the Inspire 2, so okay. the two leading professional drones. Um, for operators who are out there all day long who get very particular about how they operate their sticks, who want to be able to um, save certain settings and features to what they're used to and, and what they prefer, and who don't want to have to go hunting down two or three levels of menus to change options. They want to be able to focus on what they see, but their fingers get trained to do things. You now have a controller that is covered with dials and buttons. So in addition to you know the typical two joysticks, you have the ability to use and custom program various buttons. You've got a focus knob here. If you look on the underside, you're used to DJI, you're used to two buttons on the bottom. There are now four on the bottom. In addition to these new side dials, you can program these in as many different settings as you want. So you set this to do exactly what you want quickly. It gives you the ultimate control of it. In addition, you'll notice that it has an HDMI output and an SDI output. So this is ideal for live streaming, for feeding. In, in an industrial application, you could be feeding signal from you know, inspecting a tank farm somewhere back out to headquarters in real time. And then this uh, attached to it is our new Crystal Sky Monitor, which has, uh, in addition to specialized function buttons, it has the HDMI, it has two micro SD card slots, so you can be storing, feeding, you can use this as a feedback, as a playback monitor if you like. Um, and it, it's a dedicated version uh, of our monitor. It's much brighter than a standard smartphone. You can get this up to 2,000 nits. Yeah, so it's designed for being able to operate in bright daylight. And use this as a director's monitor while the camera operator is focused somewhere else. So these are all accessories designed to make our products even more useful for the professional market. So is this this unit's new this year? Yep, send it. And the first time it's been seen anywhere since uh, launched last night. The Crystal Sky, we mentioned it briefly late last year, but it's finally going to be available in May of this year. Sendence will be available in the second quarter for $9.99. Crystal Sky, depending on the size and the brightness, goes, runs in here from $4.69 to $9.99. Track Tenna, we don't have a release date or a price yet on it. All right, that's all the new stuff from DJI at NAB 2017. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. Peace.